Okay, assalamu alaikum. So let's get started. So the very first thing we want to take a look is over here, our lib folder. So lib folder should contain all the file, including the entry file of this project, which is main.dart. Okay, so this is the main file where everything gets started. And at the top of this main file, we do see there is a handler which actually gets called if there is a notification. A notification needs a plugin. So over here we have used Flutter local plugin notification. And of course we have this navigator state key, which is used for managing context. Anyway, so in this file, main.dart, we have a core function, which is main. So this main function actually starts everything. So here you will see that we have uh, environment dot load env, and this actually sits hard of this application running, because you may run your application for mobile app, you may run your application for your browser app. So regardless, mobile app or browser app, the server address is mentioned over here. All right. So while well, this file. Uh, is reading information. What is it reading? It's reading .env production or .env development. All right. So if you go for Flutter web build like this one, as you can see, it's going to read the env file from assets. So from assets folder. So there are two files inside assets folder. One is for production and there's for development. Now, since we are doing development, so we're going to read this file, assets env.development. I have to locate that file. So it's inside assets env.development. So now here, I already wrote local server. Make sure that your server is running, which is, in this case, this uh, server side code, okay, the back end. Make sure that that is running. Okay, so I'm already running it over here. I can close it actually, and I could do npm start, and we'll see that it's running on port localhost. Okay, so localhost uh, port 6004. So that's what we mentioned. Okay, now this is what we do if we run the application for web, right? Okay, so that's why we have is k web, k is web. We check that one. If we don't run it for web, for mobile, then we go back to this one. Now here are also two files, one for production and another is for development. Now this development, once again, since we are using locally everything, so we need to find this one. And this is inside the root folder. So this is our project root folder, right? This Foodly user. So inside the root folder, we can find two, two of these files, .env.production.env.development. So here we do see that dot env.development.env.production so since we are in development here we are so for mobile app we want to mention the server url here so in this case because we are running on android so this is 10.0.2.2 and the port number okay so you have to decide between these two things i mean when you run for web and mobile so for web inside assets folder and for mo mobile application directly inside the root folder find the file and write your address so if you download the code and actually run the backend which is our vs code that's running it and this thing setup are is already there so you don't have to worry about anything okay so you can directly go ahead and run so of course currently i'm running it on browser Okay, so in your case, you might not be doing it. So in next tutorial, I'll show you how to run it for mobile.